Well, it's about time. Thank you for coming here today. Another year is complete, and though it has been incredibly difficult, I can say that I am proud of this team for pushing through and making it the most productive year we have ever recorded. As you can see, today's meeting is being monitored by our benefactors, so let us put on a good show and not disappoint them, yes? Okay. Now, how do you... Does anyone know how to start the projector? Ah, thank you, Sebastian. I can always count on you. Today, I am privileged to finally reveal what we have been developing throughout these last few months. Welcome to the Biodome. A state-of-the-art complex designed to house the most unusual and dangerous flora and fauna known on this planet and beyond. These are just a couple of examples of the various plant life we have managed to uncover from our expeditions to Zen. They possess a sort of grotesque elegance, wouldn't you agree? But before we continue with our presentation, it is now time for our monthly Employee of the Week, where we acknowledge the greatest employee of each year. And today, I can finally reveal who has been working harder than the others. It is in fact myself who has won Employee of the Week. And I could not have picked a better candidate. Thank you everyone for your devotion to me. Show them the aliens we found. Uh, yes. Thank you, Marvin. Uh, that was actually next on our presentation. As our colleague here kindly informed us, one of the more recent discoveries we have uncovered on our travels beyond the portal have been these creatures on screen. Uh, despite its frail-looking stature, they have proven to be quite aggressive in their temperament. But with alien life forms come alien problems. Here is an example of what was bound to happen once Zenny and Gross were left to their own devices without proper containment. A fascinating discovery. We have some of our finest studying the effects of this growth closely. Fear not, we have this whole situation adequately contained and in our control. Uh, what was that? Uh, nothing, I believe, that will affect us in this meeting. Let us continue. As mentioned earlier, we are the ones in control of our specimens, and we can easily lock down if required. Our most powerful locking mechanisms are located at strategic intervals all around the biodome complex, and our HEV charging stations are fully stocked for use in your time at the biodome. Did we not create a special one specifically for the military, too? Yes, Marvin. We did. But I do not believe that was information supposed to be shared to the public. So thank you, Marvin, for bringing it up to this recorded meeting. Uh, but yes, it is true. Not only are our charging stations now compatible with the Hazardous Environment Combat Unit's new powered combat vests, but we have developed a new design built specifically for the HECU, as well as a dedicated holding station for overnight charging and protection when not being worn. That did not sound like nothing we should worry about. We're done for! Shut up, Marvin! Don't talk to Marvin like that. He is the greatest mind of our generation. Is everyone all right in here? Alarms are going off all over the facility. I've been instructed to evacuate everyone to the closest safe zone. I don't think that's necessary. Well, we should probably take heed. We will be with you in a moment. We're just finishing up our meeting. Grab what you need, and let's go. Get it off me! Get it off me! Don't just stand there! Do something! Oh. 